Hello my people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Yvonne Wema with another hair tutorial. So today we are doing bob french curls and I'll start by straightening my hair and sectioning it. So keep watching so that you can get the whole detail about this tutorial. <music> So I'm beginning to section my hair and if there's one tip I would like to tell you is that you should sit upright, adjust your neck and so that you know when you're passing the comb it shall automatically be like a clean section you get or you can moderate it into a favorable way. It will be easier for you. So make sure your neck is upright like straight. You get and truly that will be easy and another thing you should be having a mirror at the back and also at the front so keep watching <music> Sectioning while filming was actually difficult for me, but I'm so glad that I showed you because I wanted you to observe how I section my hair and how easy you can make it for yourself. And I really hope that you've observed how I widen my section with my fingers so that when the comb passes through, it can make that continuous straight line. So I'll show a glimpse of how I section the front part and we'll jump right up to the French curls. So keep watching. So this is my final look of my sectioning and I feel like I did pretty well okay and onto the braid I actually cut my braids into two I cut them into half and I wanted the full look of French curls bob braids so I combined boho a combination of boho and pick and drop and boho is actually after braiding your hair for some time you add like right now, which I, I'm showing you, as you can see. And pick and drop is like, I won't braid the curls, you get? And I feel that is what made me have this full look, cute, boho French curls. So keep watching and to where I need to explain, I will 100% explain. And I truly love this look. It was so amazing. First, the combination of pick and drop and boho and French girls and bob. Oh, it was, it was giving creativity, and I honestly loved this look. I loved doing it. It took me three days, honestly. I really didn't expect it, but oh, it was tiresome. I thought it would be easy because of pick and drop, but. It was kind of stressful, mostly at the front, to my surprise, because I I can't even understand. I even removed my nails so that I can braid, but still, I found some challenges. So if you're doing this on yourself, be humble. Give yourself humble time, actually. Take some rest in between. Eat your fruits and drink water, truly, because <laughs> your fingers and hands will be tired for a long period. If you'll be going to a salon, I will truly advise you to advise your salonist like 
I want a combination of boho and pick and drop for him or her to have the idea of what you want because when you just put when you show the picture and you just sit down you will be shocked to what you will receive anyway another difficulty was the ends and i was just wrapping the braid and then sealing some people use glue i tried but it was end up ending up sticking to my fingers which was hard so this was how i was completing my french curl i was taking a thin strand and another one and then locking yeah and then repeating again with another thinner strand you get and trust me if you don't do it you'll be disappointed because the french curls they are so silk and smooth like if you don't seal your ends you'll be braiding and then when you like shake shake your head <laughs> The braids are already out and I feel that is the reason as to why it took me long because I never knew. So I was like halfway and then touching behind I'm like okay why uh, did I unbraid myself or <laughs> so truly truly seal your ends. Find the technique that will work for you. Yeah find the technique. Me I was wrapping taking a thin and doing it. Again I'm repeating the boho hairstyle. And the pick and drop. So keep watching so that you can get the full detail and see my final look. And another thing, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. Support me. I really appreciate it. And I am acknowledging right now my 1,820 subscribers. Thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you so much for subscribing. And I really hope that you are learning understanding and enjoying my content of hair tutorials anyway keep watching As you can see i was trying to do my best at the front and i'm sure i did and another thing if you want to add uh, the boho if you want to add your braids twice or thrice it is better it will add to the fullness of your hair so the more the merrier and don't don't be shy to experiment whichever how you like it even at the beginning you can add hair truly and it will be more creative and more better. To me, I was preferring that. I was just tired to do it. But I did it at the back. And yeah, keep watching. We are getting close to the finishing look. And I hope the tips are tipping. And you will try this hairstyle. Because it is amazing. Like 10 out of 10. You know? So this is what it was giving before I finished the front and did the trimming according to my face shape and apologies for not doing in front of the camera. I just felt it was, I was strategizing because I never knew how it would look but this is the end result and yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you'll try this hairstyle and bye.